Okay, so hello, welcome to a reaction of a lot of old content, a lot of songs, and other stuff. So, yeah, that's what this is. Why is no one ever real with me? It's not that I'm sensitive. So, I'm not even gonna bother with this. This one is just terrible. It's not good. That's coming from the creator's mouth. This one, this one is not, I'm not happy with, I'm pretty sure. This one is one of the very few ones that I actually got the cover art originally done by my friend off brand Blue Jay. Um, hold on. Okay, hi, I'm back. But this is one of the few tracks where I actually got someone to create original art, me and you. I'm still pretty happy with to this day, even if it has that dislike ratio. Um, uh, pain is one where at the time, at the time I should say this, at the time, I had an animator, like actual animation person, actual person animator, um, who, well, person who could do animations on my team, so I... Ask them, hey, could you make a thing? Forget You is one that I really recommend you go listen to. Like, if there's any song I really love, even after a year of release, after, well, one year of it being released, it's Forget You. Like, Jesus. Ain't Gang is one where I say the N-word. Not in a racist way, but, you know. I don't know why I bother. Um, yeah. Before we act to that, before we act to that content, this is a dis, my, one of my first few diss tracks where I was like, hey, this is crazy. Ready, yeah. yeah, bitch, we were ready, yeah, we were ready for all of your attacks. It's also one of my personal favorites, rhyme-wise. Um, let's see. Eminem wannabe. So, as you can clearly tell, this is a tournament diss, as in it was like a diss track. I actually want to see if I can come up with enough of, enough, enough of a community of people, I guess. Enough people to do, like, one of these, because I think this is a really cool idea, where it's a bunch of people in a, like, in, like, 1v1s. Where it's, like, not serious, like, just diss track tournament style. And this, if I had one thing to say, it's that Have you ever tried I, I reproduced this beat. I produced, I produced this first beat. And... And this beat I did not produce. This beat I did not produce. This second track, so there was originally someone, Bard Music, who had made the first disc of these two, and um, it was called Hydra. And I was I went second. Um, this part was written beforehand in case I ever went. In case I had to go first, I before it was decided on who was going to go first or. I had written this part, and the first part, and then the second part was written after his part had came out, when we had decided the order, and so he, so yeah, that's what that was. It was a response. Um, this one is on someone who I have since made up with. This one was a requested this one was requested by fans at the time, and well, yeah, it's. I think it's a two-parter. Yeah, this one is on someone who I actually had beef with. 
like you wouldn't tell me. Yo, geez. And this one has a lot more thing to it, a lot more meat to it, in that it's not only a diss on this person, but it was a reminder of all the other times where I, uh, of other people and other times I had destroyed him. And that's what the beats selection is, is as in this one was you one I used originally when I was first dissed him. And I'm pretty sure. And this beat. Second one that I just fucking made and yet this, that beat was a beat used by somebody else. Just by this one also, I'm pretty sure, uses like samples from the original, um, uh, from the first, another person's diss on him. But yeah, that's where the beat selection for that one comes from. This one. This one was one that I had a, someone that, one that actually had a reaction video to it. And that person was hype about, like, diss in it. This one is a... Gotcha, just kinda sucks. Oh, yeah. It's you, but unlike everybody else, I'm not gonna diss what you expect me to. Let's start off with your rap bad. This one is terrible, but it has, like, one good flow in it. And this was my first diss track that ever got praised for being good. My first ever song slash diss track that ever got praised for being good. So I, that's why it's in this playlist. It was a response to someone else's diss on me. In case that wasn't already obvious. Okay, rapping like you piss easy. Rap terribly, but act like you breezy. Then start a bar. Ooh, like, well, your bars aren't original, dropping lines like your raps are in the past. But when it comes to holding the mic, you're past. You aren't gonna last like a dad in GK. Dro That's all I have to say about this. So, um, this is my first ever project. This song is one of the. This song was the first song I ever made. Um, well, first song I ever rapped. Fun fact, this was done on fucking iMovie. That's, that's real. This song was rapped on iMovie. Yeah. This yeah. one has like one good part in it. Yeah, this is the part that is. That's really what my voice used to sound like. Um, so I guess if there's any fun fact about this song, it's the song where that first me introduced to someone that I then collabed with and met and did a lot with over the years. This one is ugh. These ones I have no fun facts about other than they're terrible and don't listen to them. This one, this um album, I should say. This yeah, this originally had two more tracks, but the artist who featured on them asked, well, I think 3. Yeah, I think 3 more tracks. Or, no, two. This originally had two more tracks on it, but the artist who featured on it asked if they could be... Asked if the songs could be removed, so I removed them. Um, and this is obviously the deluxe version. The, the track placement was a bit different, but... This is a song that I... A remix of a song that I made. And I actually put 
a lot more effort into my v verse. I'm not sure how to feel. This is a lo-fi song made originally for this thing. This song was a single that was then put onto the track list. Made This one was made when I was originally trying to push this release. Gotta learn their lesson before they get that in. Oh. Yo, 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 yo. So, yeah, and then this is a sequel, like a sequel, I guess, to this. This, that's what this is. This is another track. This, in this entire track list is something I'm not terribly, terribly upset with or anything, but yeah. And now we go on to a different, entirely different sphere. Um, my old commentary videos. My commentary videos. So straight off the bat, he was tired. Oh my god. So when I was younger, as in in 2018, as if you couldn't tell, I was very inspired by Pyro Cynical at the time, and made my OC to look pretty much exactly like his. Like, to a fucking T. And, well... Um... Yeah, I'm really not proud of this design phase. Because it was unoriginal. And, um... Yeah, but there's basically a lot about this that I just... Don't enjoy much anymore. And this was my first ever commentary. I even went as far as to... Copy his accent... Hey guys, I'm Pyro Cynical. Today we're going to be talking shit about some other creator that I have nothing out, nothing, uh, know nothing about. Holy shit. So, if you don't know what this is, this, this is, this, um, is a, is what we like to call an animation meme. Back when animation memes were popular is when these were made, which was four years ago. So, yeah. It was essentially gotcha, gotcha, I don't know if any of you know what this fucking is, but like gotcha shorts and gotcha memes before gotcha was popular. That's what this is. Holy shisa. And this is essentially, this one didn't have my voice in it, but this was me essentially talking shit about someone else's content. Very creative. Someone else's thing. Oh yeah, and I'm pretty sure this was like this this one featured my brother and we talked about their you know this person's content, which I'm pretty sure this person was a troll. Yeah, this is very amazing. This, but this was my original first phase of doing commentaries. Um, uh, yeah, there was not, uh, um, there's not a lot to say about this other than the fact that I was using iMovie on my phone to create these. That's basically all. I used iMovie on my iPad and phone. Correction, iPad, my original iPad mini and my iPhone to create these fucking things. Um... Yeah. Um, yeah. Then comes the ones where I bothered to show my face. And today we're gonna be doing a video. These ones are not good either. In fact, they I blabber on for far too long. Um, the reason I stopped showing my face was in fact because I was blabbering on for far too long. And then, one of... Not... I don't think this is actually the first. I'm pretty sure there's one that's supposed to be 
before this, but isn't in the playlist for some reason. But my first ever, one of my, my second ever actually gotcha commentary video. We're coming to you live from the depths of hell. Fill again. All those um, this, this is when I started using Cute Cut Pro to edit. We're coming to you live from the depths of hell. I feel like all of these F with more tier 1 quality gotcha con the content tier 1. Yeah, this is when I originally started doing commentary content and aka my most successful and popular era of my content. This is legitimately what that was. This is my most successful era of content. Where the content got hundreds of views, heck, thousands at times, per upload. And so, like, it was legitimately my most successful era of content I ever had. And then I switched. And this is the spiritual successor to that, except for it's not gotcha commentaries, so it's not successful. Well, not... Well, not all gotcha commentaries. Okay, it's not labeled as gotcha commentaries, so it's not successful. So this is, this series is me, this, this series is something that I'm still making, where I make fun of people for having, where I talk and make fun of people for having terrible takes. takes ever where today oh boy rotten apples yeah today i'm gonna be taking a look at one of the many many terrible i joke about and make fun of people that's what this is but yeah this this is a shorter one mainly because i i'm not sitting through things in their entirety but basically that's me talking about some of my old content and I'm not reacting to because I don't want to watch sit through content more of my old content but yeah it's basically me just being like hey this is something that I used to do a lot because it is it's something that I used to do pretty much like well not used to do like hey look at this old content and me explaining some of the things about the old content like um yeah, I think I might even go back to commentaries on my main channel, mainly because they actually get views. The one thing I'll have a problem with is the new swearing policy, because all of my old videos, I mean all, um, uh, all of my old commentary videos have gotten demonetized. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure I have one commentary video, um, being, like, that's in its writing stage, but yeah, that's pretty much all. Thanks for watching.